I was just thinking about non-verbal communication with our sheepdogs. You know, when we're training dogs, there's a, a hell of a lot of information passes non-verbally. We give it to them in cues. So, well, with the novice handlers, they're giving them a lot of cues and a lot of stuff that you don't want to be given. And, and the ha novice handlers tend to think that the dog is working on their voice, whereas their dog is looking at them and predicting what's coming next. Because that's what the dogs want to learn, the quickest, fastest way possible to know what you want because that gets them what they want. So they're they're trying to predict what's coming, how can they get access to the sheep. And so so they're reading us. And well we can use that to our advantage. So maybe when we set up for an outrun, you know, we've trained them how how to predict whether we want them to run out narrow and tight, maybe to one o'clock, or whether we want them to run wide and square to three o'clock. So we've taught them how to predict that. Or when we're shedding for example, well we want to we just ask the dog to come in and take the sheep, but we don't tell them which ones to take. We don't say it's these ones or those ones or well we do. We just do it non verbally so that the dog knows because we do it in a pattern all the time and he's able to predict the pattern. And so sometimes people underestimate their dogs and they don't you know, they think their dogs they don't realise that their dog is like a step ahead of them. So you need to wake up a little bit, you know, in that regard. And so but we do it as people, if you go to if, if you're a, a farmer in Ireland or the UK or whatever, and you go to your, your cattle auction or your sheep auction, the auctioneer is going to know when you're bidding. But some lads bid like this, you know, they might do that. And another lad might wink. Another lad might give a nod of his head. Another lad might do that. Another lad might do that. God knows they have a hundred different ways of bidding or a thousand different ways of bidding. But the auctioneer knows. His eye is trained to be picking up. Even if a new fella comes in, to the, to a new buyer comes in, he might miss him once or twice. Next thing he'll spot him. And then he'll soon, the, the auctioneer, the the client need only bid a couple of times and the auctioneer will know how he's bidding. And if he's unsure, he might say, is that a bid? But you won't hear him saying that too often if he's a good auctioneer because he'll be picking up, his eye will be just tuned to all that. He'll be picking up. And that's the way your dog is or my dog is, you know, unless they're a half-hearted fellow. But if, if they want what we have, they're picking up all that stuff. It's the very same as <laughs> when I used to drink a lot. I drank in a lot of different bars. But, you know, I go in and the bar is three people deep with people and it's real busy and it's noisy. Maybe there's music playing. You know, all I have to do is that to the barman or, you know, hey, and he'll know, oh, we'll get Paddy some Bulmers there. Because it's a pattern. I've drank enough Bulmers in there for him to know what I want. Pint of Bulmers. That's all. No words. Uh, you know, I'm ready for another one. So if you think for a minute, you'd be able to think of lots of examples like that. You know, where you see a pattern, you know what's coming next. And so our dog is no different. And so when we're training them, we're helping them to find the answer. That's the way we need to be thinking. We need to be thinking, I'm showing you the pattern here. Are you getting it? When I keep saying left and you keep going right and I keep saying stop and then I keep saying left, are you getting it? Do you know what left means now? And so, you know, our dogs pick up very quickly on that. But I find that an awful lot of people, they don't think about the pattern. They don't think about, they don't think about it from the dog's point of view. We need to look at it from the dog's point of view as if, we were the fella sitting at the auction trying to buy the sheep from the auctioneer. You know the auctioneer seeing all that stuff. You might be a novice, but he's not. He's going to see that a mile away. And so the dog is like your auctioneer there. Or he's like good barman there. Good barman. Now, don't be barman's not going to see it. Doesn't matter. Fucking, you have to spell it out for him. You have to give him a note with it written on it. Like, hey, dum dums. But a good fella, good fella's going to see it like that. He's going to know. He came in with his girlfriend there. He want to drink for her as well. He's picking up all that stuff. He's getting all that unspoken information. And a good border collie, it's a very vacant same.